Christmas is coming. Hang up that stocking. Get down to the shops, for the clock is tick-tocking. There are presents to purchase, cars to be sent, a fridge to be stocked, hard-earned cash to be spent. A tree to be bought, go authentic or fake. A million and one small decisions to make. To his parents, her parents, where should we go? Will there be traffic? What if there's snow? Countdown begun. Every day one more door. 21, 22, 23, 24. We wrap ourselves warm for the cold winter nights. Our streets and our houses parade festive lights. There are parties to go to, songs to be played. Cliff Richard, Mariah, Bing Crosby and Slade. Films on the telly that yearly repeat that miracle somewhere on 34th Street. A snowman, an old man with beard so white who circles the globe every Christmas Eve night and descends every chimney with presents galore. 21, 22, 23, 24. What should we get Grandma? And what about Dad? Has everyone seen the new John Lewis ad? We bustle about like industrious elves, stuffing the turkey, then stuffing ourselves, then falling asleep, sat in front of the Queen, as she wishes us all. Happy 2014. We love it, but what is it really all for? 21. Open those doors and know what we'll find. But there's something more special than chocolate behind. He's not on your tree, but your dining room table that lays in a manger, asleep in a stable. A baby, a newborn, so helpless and small. And yet this one child offers hope for us all. The living and breathing and wriggling proof that there is a God and that this is the truth. We think we love Christmas, but God loves us more. So celebrate Christmas with family and friends, but remember, December soon comes to an end. But this truth is true into every new year. The God who is there is the God who came here. He walked with us, talked with us, knows how we feel, cried for us, died for us, came to reveal. The maker of everything shrunk to a boy, so this season of stress can once more fill with joy. We count to remember when Jesus arrived. 22, 23, 24, 25.